Well, good morning. It's uh, Friday the 30th of June and we've come out today to demonstrate the RTH or return to home function on the DJI Mini 3. Dead clever this drone, does loads of things and there's absolutely nothing to worry about. I've seen a few people say, oh no, I don't know what happens if it does this or oh, it'll be drone fly away and never come back and all oh, this. All sensible questions. Yeah, if you've never had a drone before or you're new to GPS based drones then uh, Hopefully this video will allay some of those fears. Um, so we've come up to Scout Road in Bolton, a uh, famous local hotspot, if you know what I mean. I've never been after dark, just to clarify that. But yeah, it gives you a nice uh, unrestricted views and a nice safe area to practice these sorts of things in. So we'll try a variety of things from close by, um, from far away, signal loss if I can get one within 500 metres, I don't think I will up here. You may have seen some people switching off the controllers just to prove the point, but uh, I'm not going to do that because there's no need. I know for a fact that I can trust this drone to come back. I'll also demonstrate the return to home on a low battery function. Okay, right, let's get into it. So the first job is to make sure you've got your return to home altitude set correctly. Then click the uh, return to home button which is on the left, the H in a circle with an arrow on it. Click that and then you've got two options, land or return to home. Press and hold return to home and it will activate the landing. At any point you can tap to cancel the landing, so if you've had a loss of signal for example, and the drone's coming back and it, it picks up the signal again and you can fly normally. Just cancel the return to home and you can carry on flying. So you'll see here I'm 11 metres away, you've still got a return to home function. I'm just going to lower the altitude down to 41 metres. Press, press and hold and it'll come back even from 12 metres away. Yeah, come back and it'll land pretty much close to where it took off from. If you're within five metres, you only get the choice to land. Yeah, that's because it's close enough for you to be able to get to it. If it's over an unsuitable area, then uh, I'll just go and hand catch it. Same again, tap to cancel landing. Yep, 3.7 metres away and a bit further away, 6.5 metres and you get a return to home. Anything over 5 metres, it will come back to you. Anything less than 5 metres, it will just land. Which is a handy function because if you have an emergency or something happens just after you've taken off, then uh, it's great that it will just land. So again here we're 178 metres away, just gone down into a field and return to home so the aircraft will go up. I'll sped this up to save your viewing time. And when it comes back to pretty much spot on where it came from. Cancelled that, I think. Yep, there we go. And off we go, 70 metres away this time, return to home. So we'll go up again to 40 metres and then come down, same spot, bang on. Different area this time, 31 metres up, 84 metres away, so it turns around. Camera's pointing straight down this time so you can get a see a lot, pretty much spot on. So it's within a couple of metres of takeoff point. Low battery returns home. Aircraft will return to home after countdown. Press the flight pause return to home button on the remote control to cancel return to home and fly with caution. So if this comes up you need to act fast and rather than waiting 10 seconds for it to count itself down just press confirm unless you're close by and uh, you're quite happy for it to carry on. But yeah, otherwise 10 seconds of flight time yeah and if you get into a low battery believe me every second counts. Now press confirm and it'll automatically start off the return to home sequence. 
area under aircraft unsuitable for landing. Control aircraft to land in safe area. So if it's uh, uneven ground or long grass or something, the drone will think, hang on, I don't like the look of this. Uh, I'm just going to wait here. And it will hover. And then you just go and get it yourself. So go and hand catch it. Or you can move it to a, a more suitable place. Okay, so there you have it. I've uh, shown you the return to home function and how it works in many, many different circumstances. And you can also see it's pretty accurate to within a couple of feet or so. Um, again, when you come to it, rather than letting it land on the floor, if you're confident and happy to do so, or if the ground's a bit scratchy underneath, then uh, catch it by hand. It's only got tiny little legs, this thing, so we're uh, going to protect those props in the gimbal. And as you can tell, it's, uh, it's very good. It does what it says it does. Um, different attitudes, different heights, different distances. As soon as you press that button or you get a low battery warning or the signal loss, the drone will come back to the home point. And as long as you've got the home point at the same point as you are geographically, your drone will return to you. Great stuff, right? Any questions, comments, leave them below as usual. And uh, be very grateful if you press the old subscribe button because that would mean a lot to me. And it doesn't cost you anything either. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Cheerio, enjoy the sun. Bye.